Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be doing a makeup video. I gotta do my makeup anyways, and I have a new filming location. It's my favorite place in my whole entire house and my whole life. Um, this is where I play Heroes of the Storm. All of my pop finals, World of Warcraft stuff, DX Racer chair. So this is extremely comfortable, and I feel like the lighting is... It's pretty good in here, and I'm, like, I'm in like a loft area of my house. Everything is great. Because I had to do my makeup, so I'm just going to go ahead and film that for you guys. This time, I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I do. Um, basically, first thing that um, I would do is wash my face, which I have done. And then I moisturize, and I used this is the daytime one all over my face, and I let that sit for a few minutes before I start my makeup. The next thing that I would do um, is prime my face, um, and a spray is very, like, refreshing, and then you know it's, like, all over, so... Ah, yes. Um, another thing, too, that I've been doing recently, or using recently, that I've been obsessed with is a beauty blender, except it's not a real beauty blender, this is just from the dollar store. Any sponge type thing, I've been really, really loving because, like, it does everything. Like, I really don't need to use, like, as many brushes. Like, I used to have, like, ten brushes that I would use to do, like, my full face. Just, I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier, and I find it, like, blends a lot better and all that stuff. So, um, the foundation that I'm using right now is an Urban Decay Naked Skin one. So, yeah, I just literally put, like, a pump and a little tiny bit, like a pump and a half, a pump and a quarter, onto that, and then I basically, also my mirror is, like, directly in front of me, so... That is where I am looking, and I just kind of dab it all over my face. And so I just put on my foundation until I feel like it's all um, in my face and not um, not blended anywhere. Um, the next thing I do is use concealer, which again is an Urban Decay uh, concealer, and I am kind of running out of it, but I think we will be okay for this video. So. What I do, I'm going to have to dip back in a few times because it's kind of running a little dry. Um, so I just kind of do the basic highlighter spots, like where most people would put highlighter. Like, you know when you see those pictures of how people contour and, like, they have, um, <laughs> like, the contour, like, the brow and contour and then all the highlight. So if I don't do mine at the same time, I do highlight first. And then I go um, in afterwards and do... Um, I also put some on my eyes, because why not? And then I just kind of put it everywhere. I don't know, I <laughs> basically just literally put it everywhere over my foundation. And just kind of patting and also like kind of rolling, I don't really, I don't really know. I mainly just press it into my skin. The next thing that I use, and I don't use this all the time, it just kind of depends, but I'm going to do it today. I have this Wonder Stick by NYX, which like one end is like a highlighter, slash concealer and one end is like the contour stick um, but anyways I'm kind of running low on this it's very tiny now um, but I just make some marks on my face in spots that I think are correct because I don't know sometimes I'll do my nose too I don't really know what I'm doing I literally have no idea I just put some marks on my face where I see youtubers doing it and I just hope to god that it's maybe correct I literally don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to like, whatever. This is what I do. And this is why I love the Beauty Blender thing sponge because it works for everything. I've done my foundation, I've done my concealer, I'm doing this, and you can also um, like apply powder with it. And sometimes I would do that, like when I first started being obsessed with the sponge, I literally did everything with it. Um, but now I prefer to um, do powder with a brush because I feel like, I don't know, there's just like, by the time I get to the point where I'm doing my powder, I've just dirtied the sponge so much that I don't really want to do that. Um, yeah, so we're just blending this out. Next thing I'm going to do my powder, which I use this Maybelline uh, Fit Me powder, and there's just a little bit kind of in the top here, so I just kind of dip my brush until there's um, powder, and I just kind of go over my whole face to just kind of set everything and make it so it doesn't feel like sticky anymore. You know, like that sticky feeling after you put on, like, sticky isn't the right word. It's just, like, tacky, I guess. And then once I'm done, like, the powder on my face, I go in with my NYX uh, contour palette thing, and I just, I like to use, this was my favorite shade, but it's completely gone now, so I use this one, um, and I just kind of 
tap it on there. Um, and I'm just kind of going over the spots where I put the cream contour. Just, um, I don't know, I think I also learned from Candy Johnson that you're supposed to um, set your face with powder before you go in with powder uh, bronzer contour or whatever because if you put this on over top of like the cream it'll like stick to it too much and make it look like muddy or something I don't know this brush kind of sucks too I feel like it doesn't pick up products so that's why I'm kind of going over things a lot because um, I feel like it's not doing anything so and then I do I have this NYX uh, strobe stick it's like a highlighter thing and I just put this on my cheekbone area I think um, I don't know if you're supposed to do this before or after you've put powder on, but I, whatever. Um, I just kind of put it, I don't know, in random places. And I do because I find that that stick is kind of like, again, that tacky, wet feeling. Um, and I just want to kind of set that, but I want to make it like glow even more. So I have this like NYX uh, shimmer stuff, which is like a loose pigment, add onto like a flat surface of any kind. And then I just go in like literally just with whatever brush. This is the brush I get my powder with. And I just kind of spread it all out on there. And maybe tap it a bit because you don't want to like have it super overwhelming and then I just kind of go over all the spots that I highlighted and just make it glow because I love it. I love the whole like highlight thing. It's it's very very nice. I like to glow. We are done like the face portion of things and now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows next. I'm dip brow pomade in medium brown. I don't even overly like this shade. Um, I bought it when I had silver hair and I don't know I just keep using it I have no idea if it's really like the right um, <laughs> color or anything my eyebrows are probably like my least favorite thing to do because I <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing um, I did like kind of pluck my eyebrows last night probably didn't do a good job but um, I'm really bad for keeping on top of that I'll just like I I just hate dealing with anything to do with my eyebrows just like try to avoid doing eyebrow related things because it just pisses me off so I'll go like so long like a week and a half to two weeks without um, plucking my eyebrows and then I'm like oh my god I'll finish doing like a full face of makeup and I'm like damn that looks good but then I look at my eyebrows and I'm like ew look at all of those unplucked hairs like what is going on Every time I try to do makeup videos once I get to the point where I'm doing like my eyes anything to do with eyes it gets really boring because like I stop being able to talk because it's like I need to to focus on what I'm doing also like my eyebrows are never the same shape like at all I feel like this one's like way more arched and this one's just like straight I don't even know guys like how do you how do you eyebrow please send help I've watched videos and I don't understand this is the current state of my eyebrows and I like I was saying I feel like this one is like way more like nice and arched than the other one so sometimes what I'll do to like I don't even know if this is a thing but I will like take my sponge and kind of like press it up and into my eyebrow to kind of like um, thin it out and make it like up more and I'll kind of do that to both. It's almost like my way of like how I clean up my eyebrows. I don't even know if that makes any sense but I tend to like how it makes it look because it sort of thins them out and I like the look of like kind of thinner brows opposed to um like really thick ones. I don't know. I can just make sure that it's not missing any gaps or whatever. Anyways, I feel like I'm moving on from my eyebrows now. We're gonna go on to eye stuff. What I like to do is kind of prime my eyes and I either use um the Smashbox eye primer or just the white uh, NYX pen pencil thing. I like the NYX one because I wear a lot of like bright colorful makeup so I find that like having a white base really helps um, everything to pop and whatnot. I don't know why, I just use this brush to, I could use my finger, but I just like to use this to kind of uh, blend that out all over my eye. For my eyes today I'm mainly going to be using this color which is called Slow Burn from the Electric Palette. It's kind of like a orangey fire color. Go ham. My eyeshadow, I don't know why, I get so many like compliments like at work and stuff on my eyeshadow and literally I don't know why because I just have no method at all. Like I literally just kind of smear it all over. Basically I only use one color, like I don't have any like technique, like I don't use a transition color, I just smear one color in like a raccoon eye shape on my eye 
and that's how I do my makeup pretty much every day. I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eye. Just literally windshield. Pretty much my eyeshadow. Now I'm just going to, I don't know if this is weird, I just kind of go back in with that milk pencil and just put some kind of in between the eyeshadow and my brow bone. And then I'm going to use that same brush that I used earlier. This, this is technically a foundation brush, but I'm just going to kind of lightly uh, blend that out. On the list is our eyeliner. This is my all-time favorite eyeliner. It is by Essence, and it's like a waterproof um, felt tip liquid eyeliner. Um, I do it pretty, like, dramatic. It's like a big wing. Um, so the first thing that I do with my eyeliner is get the initial, like, line, like, across my, just my eyelid. And then I'll start from, like, the outer edge of my eye. And I'll just kind of make the initial bottom part of the wing and uh, better than others. Sometimes I go like more of an angle, sometimes it's more straight. It all just depends. And then once I have that line down, I just kind of start to build it up, get from the tip of the wing and over to here. Always do this inner corner like cat eye thing. Pretty much my eyeliner um, and then just make sure that you let this dry because side we get the initial um, thing down. I feel like this is a really good angle for you guys to see what I'm doing. And I also find my left eye always turns out way better because just the angle that my right hand is at just really makes it like easier. So there is the initial wing and then we just start and I kind of like close my eye while I drag it. Like, I don't know how to explain that. It's like my eyes open and then when I drag back, I close it. I kind of make that little cat eye thing. Kind of, um, try to make the two match because I feel like they always end up slightly different. But I think that we did pretty good. They're mostly the same. Other than this little thing on my eye because I screwed up. It happens where you get a screw up on your eye. I normally just like lick a q-tip. I know that that's weird. And I just put it on and twist, basically, is the best thing to do. And that kind of pretty much completely erases it. So touch up your eyeshadow and then you are good to go. You're almost at the end is going to be mascara, which this is by Essence as well. Um, any of Essence's mascara is my favorite. It's super cheap, like all of them are less than $5 and they are my absolute favorite. Same with their eyeliner. And really boring and I could do this off camera but we're just doing everything on camera today so enjoy that and do another coat because I like it to be pretty um, uh, as intense as I can make it I will wear false eyelashes sometimes but what I have to do is the lips and I have to move my piercings out of the way for that and I feel like it looks really really weird um, so for my lips I do like Two different lipsticks. Um, lately I've been using Cashmere by Lime Crime which is like a nude uh, lipstick and I did put um, lip balm on before this as well. I rub that between my lips. I'm not too worried about it being like perfect. I know a lot of people with liquid lipsticks like perfect that shit. Let that sit for a little bit until it's like mostly dry and then I go over top with this like NYX purple lipstick and I just really like, I should not talk. Uh, now that we have the lipstick on that is pretty much everything except for my very last step which is my um, spray, my setting spray. This is NYX Dewy Finish so we just spray that on. I definitely just ate that and completed makeup everyday kind of look um, just whatever color eyeshadow I feel like doing big eyeliner and then like basically purple lipstick because I am obsessed with purple lipstick I've been wearing it for years so it was helpful and that it made sense I'm really sorry that it was like really really long and everything and if I didn't do a good job I don't really know what I'm doing but I hope that that kind of helps you understand how I do my makeup so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again very very soon bye guys